Energy! Energy, boys! We gotta keep it rolling, boys! Energy! Drink! Repeat! Caffeine! Piss! Ooh. Ooh. Piss! All your face, your face, face, face. All your face. Those who are to us. All your face, your face, face, face. All your face. Those who are to us. All your face, your face, face, face. All your face. Those who are to us. All your face, your face, face, face. Who the coffee's talking to me? What's going on, boys? It's your host. With the most. Tyler Bauer, what's going on? I'm here with my co-host, Mr. Jordan Yox. Hello, hello, hello. My guest today, Mr. Jordan Yox. My acquaintance today, Mr. Jordan Yox. You're listening to the OIC podcast, and this is episode two. Before we start the podcast, real quick, if you want to support the show or support the channel, go in the description and head to one of the links to buy an on your computer t-shirt. It's real sick. It'll look cool on you. Custom design. Custom. custom it's custom. it's uh, custom designed by small Chinese children with small hands. We do not have a statement for that prepared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I got to put up my apology video now. <laughs> I better call Kathy, uh, Kathy Griffin. Bleh, Kathy fucking Griffin. I better call her up. Help me out with that. <laughs> I'm sorry for the lives I'm about to ruin with my mouth words. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm very sorry. I have devastated the children with my actions. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just so sorry, guys. What the fuck is up with that? What is up? Shirt, though. Anyway, yeah, no, definitely buy the shirt, but what the fuck is up with this trend? Of celebrities apologizing for everything. You know, I saw a video, I swear to God, I don't know the exact context, but it was like Chris Pratt apologizing in sign language because he put some video up on the internet or some shit where it didn't have uh, closed captioning or something and deaf people were pissed and he made an apology video in sign language (laughs) apologizing to his deaf fans. I honestly think that could have been a convenience thing too, though. Like, what if he's, like, one of the only actors that did that type of offense right that already knew sign language? Like, if he had to really learn that speech, he's a douche. Yeah, no, if he had to if he had to learn sign language... Like, that's fucking nuts. Yeah, but yeah, he had, he had to probably... Apology. He probably had to learn sign language to... That's uh, fucking crazy. Watch, uh, this podcast, of course, is sponsored by Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Feel the burn. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by also the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two soundtrack. What it? What classic? What's the uh, What's the cool song that they put in it this time? Because um, you know they need to put a classic '70s hit song. Did they put ABBA or something? No, they this put time? Fleetwood Mac, and it's the Hey, keep us together. I don't oh, know what dude. the fuck song that is, but it's Fleetwood Mac. They should have done uh, Rome if you want to roam around the world. Yeah. Rome, that'll if the, your baby volume. Groot, be sell volume. lots of merchandise to all the children. Yeah, that'll that's what Volume Three and Groot will go to. He's gonna be a planet. fetus, fetus <laughs> Groot. <laughs> he's, gonna go to another planet, he's gonna grow a bunch of other little Groots. It's a, Guardians of the Galaxy Three. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Three is gonna be a stark political commentary on whether or not abortion is right because there's gonna be a fetus Groot and they have to decide whether or not they're gonna abort fetus Groot. <laughs> See, it's gonna be a test on population control. You're gonna see how many Groots can live on a planet. Know your Groots, boys. Know, know your Groots. What? Um, why is he a baby in the new one? Is, that's like a thing I saw. He get killed and re- reborn. Is that what happened? I think so. I didn't I finish. I didn't finish watching the first. I saw the first one in the drive-in movie theater. What the fuck is that about? I drove out like out in the country. Is that Goochland? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, somewhere, yeah. somewhere out in there yeah, in the country. Nice, yeah, it was pretty cool. I'd go again. It was pretty cheap. You'd park your car up there. It's like the old days mm-hmm. where you could swing on your you wife. Oh, yeah. Swinging days, man. When you just go from Jeep to Jeep, baby. If you were in a Wrangler, you know you were a Tangler, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Let the boys be boys slam. Yeah. Did you ever, have you ever been to Burning Man? Burning Man? 
Maybe, yeah. maybe in my past life. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> You know, I just feel like in my past life, I was adventurous. I feel like in Second Life, not the game, uh, my imagination, um, my religion. Uh. <laughs> I think I'm in like, I feel uh, like a lot of the time my mind is in the eighth circle of uh, being and consciousness. Yeah, I've already been there. I'm but I sure. really feel in my soul that I'm supposed to be in the sixth circle of uh, mind and consciousness. But it just, it just, you know, just there's an ebb and flow with the universe. Everything's just flowing. Everything is threaded like a blanket. And you just have to accept and, and just and suck anything that comes your way. Well, I'll say this. As the on Your Computer is, we don't slut shame on the On Your Computer podcast. I was going to say. So we advocate we that you go out and cheat on your boyfriend. I want you to if, Jeez, <laughs> go out and cheat on your boyfriend. No, be good at basket weaving. Break his you Xbox can 360. Weave the threads of time. If you're a good basket weaver. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm getting I'm getting all out of hand and here. If you're a good this washer, was a chill podcast. You're a good dishwasher. Yeah. You can it's a good time for you. Be good at that. And then if you're a good cooker, a good baker, it's a good time for you too. Keep yeah. doing that. Yeah, no, if you're making, if you're good at making bread, then harvest the yeast. Yes. Holy shit. Yeah, no, dude, that's mind blowing. I'm just, I, I've always just always kind of come up with these proverbs on my own. And I think I'm, I think when I'm going to make a book of my own quotes, like it's just a book of quotes by me and I'm going to sell it in Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble. And you could buy it on your Kindle too. I was going to say, man, Barnes and Noble constantly gets usurped by Amazon, man. Pretty well. Yeah. What uh, does anybody hang out in Barnes and Nobles anymore? Kids. Does anybody go to the coffee shop? I see. Oh, dude, when I go to Barnes and Noble every Christmas to just get my nana and my stepmom Barnes and Noble gift cards. Yeah. It's like, it's like a toy store. Like parents go and like go to like the kids sections and stuff, and it's like books with like interactive shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they just let their they, they let like, their fucking kids it's, loose. It's not. Yeah. It's not, it's not serious. And their music selection sucks. And they have vinyl. Yeah. Like, Who's going to buy their vinyl at Barnes & Noble? Yeah, let me you get can buy a $40 a, uh, fucking reprint of John Coltrane. Yeah. That's six bucks in a fucking bin. Dude, I used to work in Starbucks, and they had like the tiniest little display of... I know everybody knows about this. They had little displays of CDs. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Kenny G CDs. It's always like the indie kind of smooth jazz. I will... I will say though that Starbucks was badass because the music that they play in the stores, um, at least when I the XX and stuff like that. No, see they have they have their own they have their own like department in Seattle where they have people making like a they make playlists each month and you get sent a new play like your store gets sent a new playlist each month and they run it on the fucking machine the music machine that they have running and they fucking had some good ass shit on there like I remember their Valentine's Day playlist was badass it made work go by so quick because you could just be in there making lattes singing the greatest hits like like that uh that one song baby don't hurt me baby don't hurt me no more what is love <laughs> what what is love i gotta ask though man um i gotta ask a question to that what is love question all right, hit me with was it. Was that Valentine's Day playlist only on the day, or was it like seasonal? No, it was. Like it was for, for February. Straight for a whole month. See, that kind of sucks, man. Yeah. When the holidays done. It 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 takes away. Like you're listening to like the holiday. Well, it kind of sucks if you hear the same same song too. Well, that too. Man. Yeah. Like I, I remember working at a movie theater and having that problem. They play like the same soundtrack for like a year. I'll tell you, even even worse than that, I worked at a uh, grocery store that wasn't Whole Foods, but was pretty much trying to be Whole Foods. I won't say the I won't say the name because I feel like you know I can say I worked at Starbucks. There's a million Starbuckses, but this is kind of a smaller chain, so I won't say the name. But they're pretty much Whole Foods. You could probably do some detective work and find out which store it is. Man, why did I throw them under the bus? Yeah, <laughs> I mean they're cool. Whatever. They uh, they fucking they had the same like classical music soundtrack playing every day and it was the same like almost kind of like midi classical music sound like sound bites yeah. and i would hear the same thing every day and it was so shitty it drove me insane 
absolutely yeah. nuts. It, it, it's it's stir crazy. Yeah. Is, dude. This like, these fucking jobs, they they just fucking they're they're built to wear you down. I, I visited my mother right in England. Yeah. And, uh, I remember listening to British accents. I was there for like three weeks. Right. Right. I was hearing that over and over. Oh, I mean? oh, bro. This was like before YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So oh, bro. It wasn't like I could go and watch fucking clips of American voices over and over and over. And so, like, I'm listening, I'm watching TV, and I'm like, yo, I need to hear, like, an American voice, man. And it got to the point where I needed to watch just DVDs and shit. Like, I watched old school over and over, and, like, trading places. Just to hear an American voice. Hear American voices, yeah, because people man. lose their accents. Nuts, yeah. It was fucking my head up. <laughs> I, was, I was panicking. <laughs> That's was, fucking was terrifying. Up, it was weird. You just, uh, you're just stuck in the corner to just listen to what, what you say? You watch old school on yeah, repeat? Old school, <laughs> old school is your connection to the uh, your American homeland. Awesome. What is old school? I feel like I know Will the movie. Oh, and, uh, it, it's um, Will Ferrell, Luke Wilson. They got the fraternity, Vince Vaughn. Uh, dude. I might have seen it at some point. Have you ever seen Semi-Pro with uh, Will Ferrell? Oh, yeah. That's a good movie. Andre 3000's in that, too. He acts in that. I was working at a movie theater when that came out. I really? Had, I had a poster for it. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. What's uh, what's your favorite story from working at a movie theater? Oh, um... Or what's your, what's your best story of working at a movie theater? And then, to flip side that, what's the worst story you have from working at a movie theater? Well, the best... The worst story could be the best one. Because okay. Because I, uh... My, the second week I was working there... I was working door, which means you got to clean the movie theaters, right? Yeah. And uh, and you rip tickets. Okay. So you wait for shows to get out and all this stuff. And uh, my manager, who's like this huge fucking like, you know how when people don't bathe for a while, they get like a fucking crust? Yeah. Like, well, you know, if you get like a 400 pound fat dude. If you get fat to a certain point, you can't wipe your own ass. Man, whatever. Dude. He That's what it is. Fat. He probably he couldn't. Well, it's the fucking B.O. sweat, right? But it's also the fact that once you get to a certain weight, you can't reach around far enough. Dude, they, can't reach anything. Yeah, no, you have to, you have to use a brush. Looks like a, <laughs> you have to use a, a toilet brush to he clean your to, butt. He needs, he needs to use uh, a helper. Yeah, <laughs> he needs a helper. But he needs anyways. A he, suds bath every day. Kinda, the, thing, the thing is fucked up, I'm trashing him, but he's kind of nice, dude. Anyways, he fucking... Uh, smells like shit. He's kind, kind of a nice guy. smells like shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He would stink up the entire hallway going up up to the steps, like going to the stairs. Like the stairs were cut off to go up up top to where the uh, projectors were. And dude, if you walk behind her to do count, it was over, man. You're like, it was nasty. Anyway, so we fucking uh, a, a theater lets out, and it's like one of the it's like one of the end theaters, and uh, it has a condom on the doorknob. Ooh. But it's like one of those like like doorknobs, not like a circle. It's like a latch. Right. So it was over like the latch, like, oh. like, you know, like and he asked me to go clean it up, right? I said, Man, I said if I have to go get that fucking condom, I'm I, if you make me do that I'm quitting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's done. Yeah. <laughs> somebody else, because he he asked me first. Yeah. I was like, mm, no, no, no. Yeah, I no. Wearing glasses, mm -mm. But no, no, no. <laughs> I ain't cleaning well, up that cum. Yeah, but that was, I mean, it was, other than that, it was pretty low-key, like, um, I guess, I, oh, I let people in the movies and stuff. Like, you'd, like, like, let, you'd let your friends get in for free yeah, and shit like, like that? let us have people come in and shit like that. Yeah. That fun. Hell yeah. Like, I think I let my class in to see Beowulf, because we had to see it for extra credit. Like, nice. Like, higher class in, like, like, 20 people came in one night. Hmm. Yeah. Do you ever, uh, trip psychedelics at work? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I did. Actually. Really? I have a buddy that's done it a few times, and it's just like, dude, well, I wasn't why? working at the time, but I went to my job. Okay, that's different. But I mean, I have a buddy who literally like tripped yeah. shrooms and went to work. Yeah, yeah. that's that's terrifying. That. I can't imagine being trapped in a position of power while tripping shrooms. That's hell. Well, he said he he thought he was going to be trapped there for the rest of his life. He thought it was his eternal damnation. <laughs> See, but that's like you not grasping the fact that. There's an end to it. Yeah. You know? Like, as long as you keep that in your mind, you, I feel like you can get out of a lot of shit. You know, if you just mellow out, just focus on your breathing, 
Eat a tea. And no. Eat a, eat, a, eat a tea. And you just feel one with yourself, and you just know that everything will be right with the world because you are the person that you want to be. You're going to be something. You're not going to be nothing. Fuck you, Dad. Fuck you, Dad. That was why I came here. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna launch our careers to superstardom by uh, starting a Aerosmith cover band. You down for that? You play bass? I could learn bass. Yeah. We get it. We could do. I'll be uh, Steven Tyler. And I'll be the bass guitarist of Aerosmith. Yeah, I don't. I don't know the bass guitar. I was like gonna go somewhere with the joke, but I don't know. I don't know Aerosmith. I'll fill in the blank. Dream on, dream on. Why don't we do a Guns N' Roses cover band? Ain't no way, November rain. I'm telling you, man, Axl Rose, a- anybody should go. <laughs> That's November rain. Come on. You remember it. Everybody should go take a, take some time to go look up uh, videos of Axl Rose being pissed off on stage. You're ruining him. <laughs> dude, dude, you love Axl Rose, don't you? No, he's all right. Like a, is he a father figure to you? You know, maybe. Yeah. I feel like Sweet Child of Mine is written for me if Axl Rose is my dad. But go and look up Axl Rose pissed off on YouTube. Um, and also look yeah, at the... He does, he does. He shows his ass. He does, man. He's a bad dad. We can keep playing. He shows his hey, ass. Hey, we're here to play music. He's a bad dad. You can keep throwing stuff on stage. Or we can keep playing. He's embarrassing. Or we can leave. It's up to you, man. I thought we were here to play music. I thought dad grew up. I thought, you, I thought we were here to play music. I thought you guys were here for the music. I thought dad grew up after... Chinese, whatever the fuck it was. Chinese democracy? Yeah. Can you even say that in America now? Does that get you in trouble, saying Chinese democracy? Well, you see, it's funny because it's like, uh, what's the word? It's a, uh, it's not an idiosyncrasy, but it's something that's a conflicting statement. An oxymoron, that's what I'm thinking of. Ooh, you said moron, though, and that is inflammatory and triggering... And Chinese is also in the title. I should have named this. this you know what a you know what a good name for this podcast would have been. What's that? The Trigger Warning Podcast. Oh yeah. Dude, fucking, have you ever watched uh, They Live by John Carpenter? That's a badass movie. It's where he puts on the sunglasses and sees the world that like he sees like say he looks at a billboard and then puts these glasses on he sees it in black and white and then the billboard changes to just say something like consume 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 oh man no, I was, I don't think and then he goes on a shooting rampage it's fucking badass nice, man. <coughs> John Carpenter's the shit I love John Carpenter you know he made his own soundtracks for a lot of those old 70s and 80s movies all those synth soundtracks oh you know I I I I I I I I robot uh, yeah what about iRobot with Will Smith? Was that a good movie? I'm just, I'm I, re- I just remember one thing from iRobot, and it's the opening scene where he's like putting on his sneakers, and he's like, 2004, uh, all-star Converse, special yeah. vintage. Fuck yeah, dog. Yeah. They say, he said, because the movie came out in 2004, yeah, but the movie's in the future, but he's wearing like vintage 2000, style. vintage, quote-unquote, yeah. all-star Converse. He's really taking it back to the old school 2004s. Dude, Converse's on chicks are hot. I like when a chick wears a pair of Converse's. Yeah, like girls used to, yeah, they used to wear that shit. Like, yeah, like the, like the Chuck Taylors. Yeah, dude. The Chucks that were dirty and The stuff. Chuck Taylors get me going, man. And now they wear Keds and Vans. Yeah, no, Vans don't do it for me. You know what Vans are? What? Uh, they're like, um, uh, they're like the trashy bitches Gucci loafer. <laughs> That's what they are, man. <laughs> Band slip-ons are. They're like, oh, I, I feel cool in this. Yeah. Yeah. You know? They're the type I'm of bands right now. Oh hell yeah! You ever been bullied into a relationship by a, a big old fat chick? She's like, you're my, you're gonna be my boyfriend. Honestly. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna I, be I my boyfriend. I wish that it happened. Wait. No. No. Wait. Did it happen? Are you? Am I bringing up uh, a not, triggered thoughts? She just had huge boobs. Oh. That was it. She had huge boobs. But they can like, it's like um, imagine a cow. Okay. You know, a cow may be a fat animal, but a cow is usually in good shape. Right. You know what I mean? So when a cow has giant udders, a cow Ooh. is a prime cow Ugh. and in shape. 
but they're gonna bear great tr- cow, children. It's still a cow and not a human being. <laughs> so what you're saying is this broad was uh no. Was she, no, oh, no. no. You, I thought you were calling her a cow. No. Whoa. Whoa, dude. Dude, you're cross jumbling my words. Whoa, my bad. I'm putting no, words in your mouth. You're, dude, you're putting a lot of you're putting something in my mouth. Oh, my bad. Oh, oh, dude. That's crazy. Dude, you're so gay. Dude, you're Don't trigger me right now. You're so gay, dude. Don't me you're right fucking now. faggot. Oh my god. I bet you fucking tickle yourself. Oh my god. Mr. Jordan Yox, what's your I can't focus <laughs> right now. I can't fucking focus right now. I can't focus right now. I'm so fucking pissed off, you guys. I'm I'm taking this this is hijacked. This is fucking this is this is the news now. This Listen is the nine eleven of podcasts. It's over. It's over. We had proof. Fucking six months before 9-11, guy made a radio. I want to see Trump's birth certificate. Thank you. Show me Trump's birth certificate. Show me Obama's. And he doesn't know how to spell coffee. Show me Bill Clinton. Did you see that thing? Everybody's like pissed off because he misspelled something on Twitter. Like I literally saw. Who gives a fuck? There was a whole thing where it was like, morning news hosts are confused by Trump doesn't know how to spell thing. Twitter was literally a joke site and then when the president started using it people were like the twitter is truth hey, what's going on, what's going on? Hey, what's going on Brandon? we're at my uh my good old roommate brandon's in here we're coming in here we're doing a podcast what's up? this is um i don't think you've met jordan before nice to meet you, dude. this is jordan <laughs> that's brandon um brandon what's going on you just get back from work hell yeah man you know just come in here get close to the mic yeah take that mic <laughs> Hell yeah, you know, slaving for the man for about nine hours. What you, uh, what you boys getting into tonight, though? You've just been uh, working on podcasts. Hell yeah. Hell trying yeah. to get a motherfucking started. Uh, you know what I'm. You know what I'm saying. You know, you feel me. Yeah, yeah, I understand. You're an African American brother. <laughs> <laughs> get out! <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Well, I'm gonna let you boys, you know, get back to you. Oh man, I wasn't fucking bad. serious. No, 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 no. <laughs> Long ass day, I'm, you know, I'm man fine, bending me over and fucking me at work, uh, so okay. I'm uh. You got, you got any last words? Go get changed. Go take some dabs. Hold on, you got any last words? Oh, okay. any, any last words? Oh. Yeah, rap some real quick, or just oh. say some fucked up shit. Oh. Say, <laughs> say your exact. Okay, hold on. Let me finish chewing the Snickers. We're gonna edit this part out. No, no, we're gonna keep it in. <laughs> I want you to state. By each individual, <laughs> by each individual race, I want you to state your uh, problems with them. Mexicans. Oh fuck. They can't fucking park. <laughs> oh no! Chinese people. Oh god. I love them. <laughs> Japanese people. Love them. Oh. Um, Australians. Stop being so fucking weird. Um. No. And okay. I'll do one more. Um, Germans. Think of a better way to suppress the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I, well, I'll take I, that I, advice. <laughs> yeah, we'll take that into consideration. Thank you. That last <laughs> tip. The German tip. I have to remember that. Isn't it in Germany, like, they? Uh, it's illegal to even be, like, a Nazi supporter or even well, talk about... A, did you see, um, uh, Look Who's Back? Where they had the guy play Hitler? No, I don't know what that is. It's it's a it's a German movie. Oh, okay. He's like back in Berlin, <laughs> and like he's like pranking people, and they record it, but it's like scripted shit too. You know, it's like mixed. It's kind of like a Bo Rat thing. It, it, it's good, man. Yeah. I've never heard of that. That sounds it's fucking sick. Because the guy, he's spot on. I mean, not that I'm like, oh wow, that Hitler film is exactly like he was. <laughs> like Hitler. Oh, I knew Hitler. <laughs> wow, a, a bit for bit. It's so, exactly how Hitler would say that. But, uh, I mean, it, it's fucked up, dude. The, the jokes, though, are, are solid. You know Hitler had IBS? Did he really? Yeah, I've heard. He had really bad stomach problems. That doesn't surprise me. It's probably why he was so pissed off. No. <laughs> yeah, I know there's a better reason. I, I, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You I, know what I'm talking about. Uh. <laughs> I, think, I think it was more, uh, he believed that there was a certain people... That word poisoning the planet. <laughs> oh, dude, I love those people. Are you kidding me? I love those people. Yeah, economic terrorists. No, nah, dude, they, oh, come on. What are you trying to say here? What? Nah, dude, they're great. Who, economic terrorists? Oh, no, no, you know who I'm talking about. What? Yeah, you know. Oh, you're talking about the... 
Jews that Hitler killed in Auschwitz. Yeah, no, they knew what was up. Yeah, they knew. They were yeah, they yeah, they, they walked into it. They really liked yeah. death metal and they, they thought said, it was, wow. they said, "Yo, dude, this is metal as fuck." They said, that, I'm going to yeah. die in a gas chamber. <laughs> they said, "Oh, these are some really good art pieces. We're just trying to come in and check them out." That's yeah, what it was, right? They were they were a big fan yeah, of Hitler's. Artists. They're big artists. They were like, oh, look at these gas chambers. Look at the type of images we could see. <laughs> Hitler told him it was an art gallery. Yeah. And they all came around to see his art gallery and he killed them. And then, and then, what is this joke? Honestly, though, that shit... I don't know, man. That shit is crazy. Like, they looted people's houses. Like, they were like treasure looters, you know? Yeah. Like Nazis. And, uh... You gotta uh, stash your Nazi gold. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know. I think the idea, um, well, there was people in the, in the war that like would stash shit and then like leave whatever to get out of there and then come back for it like after the war. That's pretty badass. Come back years later <laughs> to find your gold buried there. It's like you're a pirate. Three Kings. You seen that movie? No, I haven't. That's a good. That's a good movie. Have you ever seen um? Like Desert Storm, stealing gold from. Saddam. It's good. Yeah, that's cool. That's sweet. They just fucking. Funny, dude. Oh, dude, George is a George is a talent. Dude, don't talk shit about George. I'm not. I said he's a talent. <laughs> no, you know, let him be. no, I said he's good. Yeah, let him live. I said he was good. Please let him live. Let George live. He's having a tough time. He's going through a tough marriage. George Clooney, please don't hang yourself. Please don't, man. You make good moves. George, you got friends here. You don't need to. You don't need to kill yourself. Watch Ocean's Eleven. Probably any time. George, come over. We'll crack a beer and watch your favorite movie. Yeah, man, yeah. Ocean's Eleven. Crack a couple jokes. Crack a couple brews. Crack a couple brats. Kathy Griffin is dead now. What? <laughs> oh, no. Wait, what does that say? I think that's a joke article. Oh, man. I'm looking up... Here, we'll go to a news site. We'll See, we need something to talk about, so I'm going to go to CNN.com, and we'll just... We'll riff on the news, because that's what all comedians do nowadays, right? Ah, Hey, dude, I go to 4chan.com. You go to dot .mu and talk about music? Really? How do you think we should... Uh, what, do you think refugees, yes or no? <laughs> it depends on uh, the vetting process, my friend. Do you think... Uh, do you think uh, that we should uh, SWAT the president? We should just send SWAT, <laughs> SWAT team to the White House? Docs his fucking Twitter, dude. Dude, I fucking hate the president, dude. I'm angry. Politics. I've never been so passionate about something before in my life. Man, I just feel like I need thing. to say this. I just need to. The it needs to be said. Changing. My car Still gets the same gas mileage. I just, I remember when I was a kid, it was all about Powerpuff Girls and Samurai Jack, and now it's just all about, uh, there's just like a, there's a, a doofus in the White House, and he's dumb, and he's dumb, and he's dumb. And he's fat. Have you seen him? And yeah, he's, he's, he's out of shape. And he looks ugly. I like that, though. I like how it's like people that are like mad about fat shaming are like literally fat shaming the president. Yeah, no, that's great. It, it's, 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 it's lovely. It's so apparent. It doesn't matter. I'm going to escape into virtual reality anyway. Dude, that might happen. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get... Whenever they develop uh, the ability to like transmute consciousness into technology, like put me on a USB stick, I'm going to do it. I'll be on a USB stick. What do you think about that? I feel like by that time, USB technology, it's going to be... It's going to be USB 5.0. Yeah, it's just going to be like a pin. Like, how weird will it be if it's like a diabetes blood check and they just tap your arm? Dude, I was listening to the weird. fucking the Joe Rogan podcast and he was talking about how like the, the, he read some fucking article or something where like apparently in like 50 or so years they're going to be able to make cameras that are the size of grains of sand and you could just like sprinkle them all over the place and there would literally be cameras everywhere. Oh yeah. That sounds that. a little bit ridiculous. I don't. I don't think... I don't think it's... I bet there's some type of fucking material that can somehow capture reflections somehow. 
and transmit it to something. I don't know, man. I guess you need a lens, though. Like just right. by default, you need it a lens. It has to be like, a, like it has to be glass. This man's talking about om- omnipotent fucking fairy dust video well, recorders. Like, you're saying like nanobot cameras. Yeah, like, but they don't have any type of leg or some shit. Yeah, like, no. How would you retrieve? Travel? Yeah, how would you retrieve them? You gonna spread them like fucking seeds? Yeah. Let them bounce. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he was like, he, you're he, gonna he, see dirt. He, he said he was just gonna yeah. walk around town with a leaf blower blowing them around. I thought that was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> just to get rid of them yeah. that's ridiculous though that's not gonna happen or maybe it will i don't know come back and listen to this podcast in 60 years and tell me if it's true well, i mean this is all gonna be this is still gonna be around right youtube will be here in 60 years yeah definitely i hope i yeah. hope to god man i hope this world stays the exact same forever <laughs> yeah i don't want change bruce keep the poor people poor bruce was <laughs> telling me they might uh find some type of gene reversing thing like, uh, they can stop the aging gene. Right. So you'll be, like, trapped in, like, your fucking regular body, and you can live up to, like, three or four hundred years old. Jeez. Like, in, unless, you know, like you a, die in a physical accident or well, something. Right. Dude, it, it, killing is going to be a fucking... Dude, that's going to be a sport, man. Yeah. Well, overpopulation is definitely going to be a problem. Hell yeah. These are loaded topics. Yeah, dude, we're getting dark. Is it dark, or is it shedding light? Oh, I like that. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's like a live, laugh, love quote. Yeah, man. Live, laugh, love starring Julia Roberts. Or is that Eat, Pray, Love? Would you, that's, yeah, that's Eat, Pray, Love. But I think that's, I think, I think, yeah, I think that uh, the bitch who wrote that book came up with Live, Laugh, Love. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> the fucking cunt. Seriously. The government's going to kill you with colon cancer. Probably, dude. Look at McDonald's, man. Dude, McDonald's food just is concrete in your stomach. Yeah. That shit is like, oh, I, I really am starting to get tired of like eating fast food every day. It's rough, man. It hurts. It makes you feel like shit. It, living on my own now, it's like, Jesus Christ. It's like I make food for myself sometimes, but it's like a lot of the time it's like, I don't feel like fucking making food. It takes time, dude. Yeah. It does. I can make some dank fucking burgers too, but it's just, I don't feel like doing that all the time. Fuck that. And it's, eh, yeah. You have a grill? I don't, well, I do. I just haven't got it. I haven't fucked with it. I've that's never like, tried to get it working. If you try to eat healthy, that's the like easiest thing. Is if like you're just like cool with bacon and letting it sit, and you can like kind of do that thing where you multitask, cook, and do something productive. Yeah. Or grill. It just grill that shit for like ten minutes fast, and light it up. Boom, boom, boom. Eat. And that's it. But nobody's ever that productive every day. No, right? and I'm a lazy piece of shit. Man. <laughs> I'm, the same way. I'm like, oh wait. Uh, could I have it my way if I take this left? What the fuck? <laughs> was that my... Yeah, what the hell was that? That was a window sound right there. But seriously, though, Burger King, Whopper, mayonnaise, cheese, solid. Yeah, no, I thought... That's the only thing I would get at a Burger King is a Whopper. You don't get the chicken sandwiches? Not like the long one, the regular... Oh, no, those are... One. Yeah, those are good. The uh, buffalo chicken ones. Well, I haven't had buffalo. I remember they had the tender crisps. Those are the shit. Yeah. Stop making those. Yeah, no, they just have like the dollar buffalo chicken sandwich. This is real entertaining. What do you? What's your guys' favorite uh, dollar menu item? Actually, no, there's no more dollar menus. Yeah. There isn't. I went. I went to Wendy's today. Fucking junior bacon cheeseburgers, two dollars. Welcome to the world of inflation, ladies and gentlemen. Your financial world is gonna come crashing down around you. Hey, invest in real estate. Am I right? (laughs) Real estate. Property isn't going to become worthless after the nuclear fallout. You know what's bullshit? You fucking pay property tax. The fucking if the cost of your property goes up, like the value of your property, you have to pay higher fucking property tax just because uh, your house is worth more now. Because they know you're holding a nugget of gold, real estate, land in America, gold. This is the this is the promised land. This America, is the new America, city where everybody's gonna move. Oh, everybody's okay. moving to Virginia, this city. Virginia. Yeah, I literally saw some list where it said Richmond's one of the top five like up and coming like cities, and it's like Jesus Christ, everybody's yeah, everybody's just gonna show up here, buy all the real estate, and then it's gonna turn into every fucking other shit city. Um, uh, let's hope it doesn't turn into Detroit or Cleveland. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm talking more. I'm talking more like it turning into something like uh, L.A. or fucking Austin, Texas, like all those I places. I see L.A. because we got a lot of counties. Yeah. yeah. That's the only thing is if the county government shit doesn't change, it'd be like spread. You know what I mean? Like, but then again, we're kind of clustered to where like a county could almost be like a borough if it were huge. 
Like that's like crazy to think about. Yeah. We had like I think three hundred or four hundred thousand people in Richmond. Like in the I think what is it, the Commonwealth area or some shit. I don't fucking know what it's called. Like with all the counties and stuff like that. Yeah, it's kinda confusing around it here. It is, man. It is. So, and they're always changing it too. I remember Richard in city within those lines is the best. Yeah, it's dude, it's funny when you go into uh, when you cross the bridge to enter the Richmond city limits. It immediately like it just turns to like shit, like shitty motels, the fucking paper oh, moon. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, oh shit, people are gonna find out where we live. I might have to cut out locations. Oh shit, my bad, dude. Oh no, you're good. I'll just cut out this little bit of conversation. Like, I, it's cool saying some, but, like, I think saying Midlothians, like, the people, yeah. I think Richmond's cool. Like, people know I live in Richmond, but, like, Midlothians, like, oh, that's right up the street. No, we don't even have to talk about that, though, honestly. Yeah, let me bring up something here. Whoa, dude, the NBA Finals. I love basketball. My black son's gonna play basketball. I'm gonna adopt a black kid, and he's gonna play great basketball. <laughs> you, bet, you better <laughs> Honestly, there's charts now. Like you can see your kid when he's small, right? Like at a certain age. Yeah, you, it's you tell like what his height's gonna be. Having a kid is like an RPG uh, create <laughs> create your character <laughs> thing now. In the future, you're literally just gonna EA have sports. <laughs> no, dude. In the future, it's literally gonna be like the fucking Warcraft uh, create your character screen. You're gonna be able to select your kid's race. <laughs> he's gonna be a warrior. I want to be a warrior. I want to be a rogue. What did you always play in uh, MMOs? I always went with the simple one, like just warrior or some shit like that. Oh, when I'm I, not smart. I was uh, highly ranked in World of Warcraft PvP and vanilla. Oh, ah, uh, 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 ooh, warrior. Yeah, I played. Uh, I played when Burning Crusade came out, and I used to play Blood Elf Paladin. Oh, Belfin. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, dude. dude, that game was fucking magical when I. Powered man. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, 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 isn't he right, boys? Those paladins are so fucking OP. OP bro. Come on, Blizzard. Nerf the game. Blizz, get back in there. Get, Burning Crusade sucks, man. Change it. The fucking... That game was magical as fuck. <laughs> 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 Dude, that, 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 seriously, though, that game, like, Burning awed Crusade me. Really I remember really wanting Warcraft because I was like, I've never played a game that was so big where, like, it's like it a whole... The, it was the Diablo 2 continuation. See, I never got. I never said, played. Fuck it, we're not gonna continue any more of it after like the expansions and stuff. Yeah. They said we're done patching it. That's when they used to just shut down games. Like, yeah, they would like, actually just have a final version. Like one point six. Yeah, like, Counter Strike. They would say shut down. We're yeah. Updated it for years and years or ever. Right. You know, that's what they did with D two. So it was like everybody went from that to wow. Mm. Yeah, I never got to play the uh, Diablo games. They they would have fucking expirations on the characters, right? Characters people spent hours and hours, like days of playing time on. Damn. They would have 90 day expiration days if you don't log on. Oh, dude, fuck that shit. It's like, what? Dude, I lost characters on there just because I didn't give a fuck. That, like, I could have sold on the fucking internet. That's how, like, that's how much I used to play for it, or play. But. How much, uh, how much of a problem were hackers? Hackers? I don't know. I never ran into shit like that. I, wasn't, uh, I guess I wasn't. That yeah, I don't know how. Is Diablo two? It's not like an MMO. It's like an instance based thing, or you play like. Yeah, it's like it's like, I don't know. It's hard to say, man. You can play with up to eight people. Or okay. Seven people in, in the same, same like server. Server. Right? Yeah. And um, but man, it's very fucking repetitive. It's pretty much like grind based game. What's the worst like you know like those shitty free have you ever played like shitty free to play MMOs? Like what's the shittiest one you've ever played? I don't think I have man. Oh damn there's like all those like, like I mean, fucking Korean fucking uh MMOs, like all the free to play like weird Japanese ones. I played Guild Wars. That was what that you I mean you bought that. Free to play you mean like monthly? No, I mean like the really Bruce shitty game. Yeah. Well, no, when RuneScape was, was fucking when sick. I was little, that was on the that was on school computers. You could get that for a little while. Yeah. No, you that played it in the browser. Okay. Yeah, it was a browser-based game. Remember, man. Dude, like, Falador. You go to Falador. Who? Are you taking my golden Falador? Yo, fucking RuneScape references, dude. Sick. Oh, I love video games, dude. Yeah, man. Hey, Sergeant Pepper. Too. Sergeant Pepper is uh 50 years old today. The album by the Beatles. Wow. That's interesting and uh. Anderson Cooper reads best coffee tweets. Anderson Cooper is a is an evil gay. You think so? 
Yeah, I think he's a mind controlled gay. gay. Yeah, he is. Anderson Cooper is gay. Is he gay? Yeah. No shit. Anderson Cooper. Yeah. Gay. Yeah, he's gay. Homosexual. Yeah, Anderson Cooper is fucking. He's gay. I think I did know that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and he's gonna read you the best cough of tweets. Fucking stupid shit. Fuck the internet. Like, you go to the front page of Reddit, and it's all bullshit. Here, I'm going to go on our videos, r slash videos right now. And what's the top video is going to be? Oh, let's see here. Uh, surprise. Um, a Hot Ones video. Ooh, we're going to eat spicy wings and get answers out of musicians. I, I, this bit's kind of ruined. But yeah, I fucking hate uh, the Reddit main page. It's all just gay. It's all it's just so fucking gay. Yeah, I don't get on Reddit. It's, it's, some of the subreddits are alright. Like the smaller ones. They're pretty cool. Like, um, the ones that, like, maybe. The ones that reaffirm my beliefs. Yeah, the select few you know about. The, like, um, my favorite subreddit is Are uh, Girls Peeing on Each Other? Do <laughs> they really have it the subreddit? Uh, probably. Oh. There's a lot of, like, specific, oh, like, stop. fetish porn subreddits. Yeah, the stock didn't go up in Reddit in my book. I don't know what did. Yeah, and if you want to, I'm sure there's like, there's like super, like, you know, I was talking about girls wearing Converse's. I'm pretty sure there's a subreddit for just specifically girls wearing Converse yeah, shoes. Yeah, or they're just hot and wearing Converse, Chuck Taylors. But you can't get them to wear a Confederate flag. No. Nah. I'm only, I'm going to, I'm going to find me a, a good, a good old girl. What was it, was it Sling Blade? Was that? Mustard and potatoes. I just love, I love that I love that dad voice the good old boy voice. Oh, this is not a dad voice. Oh, uh, what? Blade? No, I haven't. I oh, dude, Billy Bob, my man. I think he won an Academy Award for that movie. Was Billy Bob in No Country for Old Men? No. Was that Billy Bob? That's uh. No, no. Who's the old sheriff in that movie? Sheriff is Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee. That's I got them confused. And then, fuck, man. Who was the dude that got the money that was fighting? Uh, what's his name? Javier Bardo. Was that that was a uh, Christian Bale, right? No, it's not like that. No, fuck. <laughs> I, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, actually, I actually like that movie. No, that movie is great. Guy, it's so a Coen Brothers movie. It's awesome. The Coen Brothers are fucking. Guy? I can't. I know who Brolin. you're. It was a Brolin. He, a Brolin. Josh. Josh Brolin. Was it Josh Brolin? Uh, something like that. He was the dude that found the bag. It was a uh, River Phoenix from the Back from the Dead. Dude, he probably would have been a fucking Hollywood monster. Yeah. They, pl- they, they got rid of him. <laughs> yeah, OD, you know, you know, he OD'd in the Viper room. Yeah, they got rid of him, dude. Uh, yeah, he's done. He's yeah, no, up, man, you, get, you can stand and make too much money doing this, kid. We gotta snap you out. Do you, wouldn't that be crazy? He's just like conked out on drugs, and then the like the men in suits come in with a high dose of heroin. And they're like, we're gonna put you, we're gonna put you to sleep because you, you know too. Got the idea from Breaking Bad when the chick. I've never watched Breaking Bad. Really? Yeah. See, I, there's a lot of things I haven't seen. Oh man, I could ruin this age-old fucking show that everybody knows for you, but I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. This isn't a <laughs> spoiler podcast. This is a a, a a what's a funny? What would be a funny podcast? Like super specific, dude. I I heard some shitty ad for a podcast where it was like these two chicks and they're like. I forget which fucking... Pl- I'm just going to say it's Lana... Uh, what the fuck is a funny name for like a shitty town like in San Francisco? It was some shitty fucking place in San Francisco. And they're like, hey, we live in Shitborough in San Francisco. And <laughs> this is our podcast all about Shitborough. <laughs> and we're going to tell you all about the things we like to do in Shitborough. And then the chick is like, "Oh yeah," and we're on the we're on the Feral Audio po- uh, Podcast Network. And the chick is like, "It's Feral. <laughs> you don't know how to pronounce Feral." <laughs> She's like, "Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce." It's two dumbass cunts. <laughs> yeah. It's two dumbass sluts. Yeah. Yeah, they uh, they seem to be. A mom didn't love me too much. They seem to be informing you on uh, shit that interests them because they're trying to attract people that have those same interests that will fold you know what i mean yeah that's what it is they quickly want you to like the same shit as them right that way if you're any different then they don't give a fuck about you and they they kill two birds with one stone you probably don't listen to them so they don't have to deal with you 
And if you don't listen to them, you're not helping them and supporting the cause of our information highway. And they say, fuck you. Yeah. It's, you know, fuck that, dude. We need to pro... Well, it's, it's, it's like almost like forced segregation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like with opinion and with opinions. We should uh, start uh, protesting on highways. Like, you know, like standing on... <laughs> <laughs> man, I saw some people get wrecked on fucking Live League, man. From like being on a highway? Owned. Owned. I mean... I pooned. Say it like that. Pooned. They got pooned. No, but dude, it was rough. Like people got... I mean, they were doing backflips in the air, cartwheels. Getting hit, protesting because people can't see. It's nighttime. Not, yeah, no, there was like there was with reflectors all dude on. like three months ago. There was like the I think it's like I ninety five near here. The mm -hmm. uh, was it I ninety five? I don't know. Like a bunch of Black Lives Matter protesters like stood on the highway like in like a group to protest. You know, Black Lives Matter, right. and they all got like arrested. Oh, shit. for blocking the highway. Oh yeah. <laughs> lucky none of them got fucking hit. Right. You man. can't fucking block a highway think like about, that. Think about it. Think about if you have a protest, right? It's supposed to be peaceful. Let's say you got 30 people. And then one of them gets fatally injured by a car. How is that successful? How did you help anything in the world? Well, obviously the person that hit him was racist. <laughs> yeah, the dude was driving up and he saw it was a Black Lives Matter protest and he said, I'm going to take these. Yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna take these N words out. I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna take these N words out. He can't even. He can't say it to himself. He still says N words even when he's talking to himself. Why is my blood burning? Why is it Bernie? You think you Bernie Sanders? You think you think Bernie would have won? Ah, oh, dude, Bernie wouldn't have won. I think he might have. He probably would have. Oh, dude, Bernie would have won. I hear multiple Trump supporters, dude, say that. They would have voted for Bernie, mm. and they said they would. They were basically. They just couldn't do it. They couldn't do it like Bernie. <laughs> yeah. Move it like Bernie. Do you think he'll? Uh, Man, move it like Bernie. Do you think he'll run? Who, Bernie? Yeah. No, he's gonna be dead. I don't think so. Nah, I'll be dead. Mark Zuckerberg's gonna run for president, and that scares me. I don't think he will. He's a fucking android, dude. He won't. He's a robot. People that never trust him, dude. Did you see the video? Did you see that funny video of him like doing? He's like showing the new Instagram filters, and it's like a 10 second video, and he's just like, "Wow, new Instagram face filters today. They look great. This is my favorite one. Thanks, team." He just sounds like a fucking robot. He's oh, so he creepy. Can't offend anybody. He's worldwide. No, it's just the way he talks. It's not he even about offend. Generic. Uh, not even generic. Just like robotic. Uh, Scary. You can be, you can, you can appeal to the mass amount of people and still have a fucking personality, but that man's hollow. I think he's lazy. I think his wife is Asian. I think it's laziness. I think he, I mean, I'm not saying he's not a hard worker, but I think it's like, if I say this like this, plain, 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 I can hit everybody real quick. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Everybody can see this, take it as a message of no, oh wait, what the fuck did he, is he saying he's going to take our fucking rights away with, uh. Giving the government all our information? Like, what? what? He's not saying that. No, he's saying, hi, this is our new thing. Hope you enjoy it. Wow. Hey, guys. That's it. New nano chips today. Yeah. Put it in your skin. Right. That's <laughs> the shit, though. Great man. job, team. <laughs> I can test that shit, though, man. Like, this dude boarded an airplane. New Facebook cat. chastity locks today. Yes. Put it on your cooter. Yes. Great well, job, team. Married, we have spy cams that'll tell you it, or tell people... When somebody's cheating, we know when new Facebook off. bathroom cams today. Oh, this is my favorite one. Great job, team! <laughs> oh, Mark Zucker, what do you think his fetish is? What do you think Mark Zuckerberg's fetish? What do you think him and his wife get down to? Well, dude, I mean, didn't he make Facebook to like find girls? Isn't that kind of like? Is that what he did? Wasn't that what they kind of portrayed in the movie? I never saw that fucking movie. Really? Yeah. I had people tell me that that movie was like. That is the definitive movie. Yeah, I think a lot of, it was one of those movies like a lot of a lot of quote unquote normies saw and then thought it was mind blowing, kind of like Inception. Oh. Like Inception's a good movie, but oh, people yeah, think that movie's good. complicated. It's yeah, really yeah. not. It's like okay, he's in. It's like, pretty easy dimension. to follow. It's really deep. And people like yeah. to talk about the ending. They're like, oh, he's still stuck in the dream, and it's like, no, he's not. The fucking thing wobbled. The pin dropped. Yeah, no, the, the top, it kind of wobbles, and then it cuts to black. Like, it's obvious. Oh, yeah. The director no. even said himself that... They made that, it wobble and spin again. That's yeah, what it was. Yeah, but it in the dream... Again. 
Well, no, it, it kind of in the shot. His whole thing was that oh, oh if God, it's these yeah, we're okay, yeah, we're turning into the fucking Inception fucking people. We just got fucking incepted. Yeah, we incepted ourselves. <laughs> this just shows you that your subconscious makes you a piece of shit. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. No, what were we talking about? Um. Please let's get away from Inception. <laughs> did you know Steve Buscemi was a firefighter in 9/11? I thought he volunteered again. We no, that's say. that's just yeah. No, it's like a, it's a joke because uh, oh. yeah. Everybody everybody like says that on. It's like one of those you know that shitty subreddit where it's like today I learned. Oh, because there's a picture of him as an NY. Yeah, everybody NY likes NY to be like surprised that Steve. Y. Yeah, everybody likes to be surprised that Steve Buscemi helped out with 9/11. And it's like oh, I'm pretty sure he could have helped that out. That was his first career. He was a firefighter. Oh. Actor. Okay. Yeah. So he was a firefighter, quit, started acting, and then and volunteered, volunteered. Volunteered. Right. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah. And everybody acts like that's mind blowing. Not. I'm not well, shitting on. New York. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not yeah. shitting on. I'm just saying uh, it's yeah. an. It's an. I'm saying. Okay. Well, if you're gonna say that, just <laughs> say it. <laughs> no, I'm saying that. It, it's not your right. What are you saying here, John? <laughs> it doesn't gar. It doesn't gar. It doesn't gar. It doesn't gar. Did you ever see John Wick? That's a great movie. I didn't see the first one. I, the, the one. I saw the second one. It's it's just more of the same. The second one was disappointing, honestly. All I wanted to say though was that his actions don't garner. I think people would be like, "Holy shit!" I think it's like he was trying to be humble. That's all. Sure. Like Kendrick Lamar said, "Be humble." Yeah. Ain't gonna be humble. <laughs> now be humble. You think I think uh <laughs> I think Kendrick Lamar is the savior of the black race. I don't know, man. He might tell you to sit down and be humble. Now. Sit down, be humble. I haven't heard, heard his new stuff. And be home by six. I remember that uh what was that what was that album there, Good Kid Mad City? That was that was good. I think you're thinking of We built this city. Oh, we built this cool? city on rock and roll. There was this, uh, there's this song I heard on the radio one time. I'm sure this is super popular and I sound stupid, but it was just hilarious hearing it like off the radio out of nowhere. It was just like, uh, it was some like new wave 80 song, and it was just like, I'm turning Japanese. I'm, I think I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. Is you've heard that before? Yeah. It sounds familiar, right? I think I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. I really think so. Yeah. Yeah. That was um that was Brian McKnight. That was uh Michael <laughs> Bublé. That was uh John Mayer. What the fuck is Michael Bublé's deal, man? Thinking he can just sing fucking Christmas songs and get by on life. Fuck you, Michael. You know, you know who really took the next step was that guy that was in all those SNL skits that Toes like this, or sings like that. I mean, sings like this. He's like really famous for like movie singing and shit, right? Who are you talking about? Fuck, man. He was in all those skits, dude, with um, the digital short shit on SNL. Uh, oh, you're talking about Lonely uh, Island? Yeah, but he like was like singing pirates theme or some shit. I don't know. I'm I'm completely. He had blonde hair. Dude, Michael what Blatt. the Michael fuck? Blatt. Oh, okay, Blatt. right. And he was like doing like uh, little fucking songs and shit for him, like the little joke songs. He's just singing them to sleep. It's a little lullaby. Right now, but yeah. <laughs> this is I'm I'm starting to fall asleep on the mic here. And Trey Parker, Matt Stone. Now you're a man, a man, my man, my man. That was my shit. I like that. Didn't they have a band called a uh, DVDA Double Vag Double Anal? Did they? Yeah. That's sweet. That's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know if it was an actual band. I think it was, I think it was like something they used like for... Good, man. So, I, maybe it was just a South Park joke. I can't remember. I, South Park makes me not even want to like talk about funny shit because I know it's already been said or been thought of or some shit. Yeah, if I had to pick a mainstream show that uh, was... Yeah, right. It was the best at like... Cause social commentary is so fucking blase nowadays. Like if... I feel like if you make like it's literally like social and political commentary is so oversaturated at this point that it's like if you do do any of it, it's just like oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even matter if the joke's good. It's just it's just like it's like just you like, like, you were telling me you uh, you told me that you took a break from stand up because all the fucking stand up clubs and open mics is just people making fucking Trump jokes and shit. And just patting themselves on the back saying, oh, that's a great joke. I agree. Yeah. 
It's an echo chamber. Yeah, pretty it's much. It's disgusting. It's pretty much like... Lean in for this one, because you're going to get schooled, buddy. You got to listen real close. You got to understand. You got to understand what we go through as men. Men have it really hard. It is hard for us men, all right? We've changed a lot in this lifetime. I just feel like as a man, I just like can't cry <laughs> in front of people. <laughs> I can't be open. <coughs> as a man, if I, look, I can't if I, tell my dad I'm, I'm gay. Fat, if I'm fat, I can't tell I'm my fat, dad I'm gay. I'm not even a real person if I'm fat. I can't tell my dad I'm gay. He <laughs> wants me to be a football player. My dad already thinks I'm gay because I'm a football player. <laughs> dad, I like to fuck my car. Dad. Have you ever seen that clip, the TLC reality show where the dude like fucks his car and like he just brings his dad up? Oh, is that like the weird habit show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like my strange addiction. But he like brings his dad up to. He's like, I got something important to tell you, dad. Like, it's I mean, I need to get this off my chest. And his his dad's never, like, never done that in his life though. Never <laughs> cornered his dad to say, I got something important to tell you ever. Yeah. <laughs> never, ever. Nothing good. Yeah, seriously. Important to tell you. I just graduated college. Yeah. yeah, no, he's like, Dad, I have something important to tell you. His dad's like, his dad drove up to his house and was like, all right, son, you know, what is it? Are you okay? Oh God, is this good? Do you want me, here, I'll just, I'll play it right now. I'm talking about the, the dad is hoping. Yeah, he's hoping that it's good news. And then his son is just like, oh, I, uh, I fuck, cars. I fuck my, you know, it's worse than that. He fucks his own car that he, it's, and he's, it's a gay car. I saw this. It's his car, Chase. His car. His car named Chase. Yeah. 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 Let me see. TLC car chase. Fuck, Actually, I might get something different from that. Dude, we live in a sad existence. Yeah, no, this... is not what it was like to live, like, in... Ooh, that's the loud. ...the 60s, right? Like, yeah. Like, shit was just all mainstream. Like, the crazy shit. Like, Charles Manson stuff, man. People only knew about that, and that was, like, shocking headline news. Like, now that could happen every week, and people would not give a fuck. Yeah, Charles, Charles Manson's nothing compared to, like, fucking ISIS. Well, dude... Anything. Dude, Dude look at this shot of this guy right here, just in his car in the dark. That's that fucking creepy. What we do the most often is I like to lean over his fender oh. and across his hood. And, uh, I like to lean over the fender and like press that. my you know, penis into the, the hood. Dude, your car's a little bit of a fucking slut, dude. Dude, your car has been fucked. Is more yeah, a lot of a lot of people get in that car. How could you, dude? You're getting somebody. It's very special. Like love to chase. Mm -hmm. I am worried for my friend oh because my God, it's not good, and you may have people that don't understand and make fun of you. You're right, us. <laughs> I mean, Daniel's we understand. so attached we to have Chase. To. He rarely lets anyone else drive him, and never lets Chase out of his sight for more than 24 hours. Jesus. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> His pictures on my desktop, so I see his face all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh if no! Fuck, man. Out, my heart this makes me feel bad about every background image I've had on my computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he sits in another car, or drives another car, is he cheating on Chase? Look, he's got I a little Ferrari so model in the background. He's got hotter cars than his car. Oh, <laughs> dude, he wants something more. No what happens if his car breaks no down? Is it like his car died? No oh, dude, look at his puppy. He's so it's over. <laughs> is that his sister or his mom? Who cares? Where's the part where he talks to his fucking dad? Is it not in this part? Dude, I feel bad for his mom. Ah, shit. At this point, my dad is lying. God damn. his relationship. Oh, dude, where's the part? Okay, wait. This has to be the one where his dad comes in. Yeah! Oh, hell yeah, dude. Something to this is great. I just love the way he tells his dad this. He asked me to come up here. Basically, he had something that he dude, wanted to tell me. I don't know exactly what it's about, but I like to know. <laughs> oh, he definitely is blue collar as fuck. Yeah, yeah there's something pretty important I want to talk to you about. All right. I fucked uh, his car. <laughs> I'm just going to come out and say it, I guess. Dad, I fucked my car. I'm in an intimate relationship with Chase. <laughs> Jesus. Um, Who the fuck is Chase? And emotionally. What? You're in an intimate relationship with... Your car. Hold on, though. And How is he that car. familiar? Yes. He car. probably Chase knows. Chase. He probably knows that his son uh, calls his car Chase. I don't. How does that work? How can so you have he's gotta have sex a with a car? Maybe or this is all fake, and these are actors, but still, they still have to subject themselves to this. 
You gotta okay. think um, about the small shit. Though. Someone like, does fuck their car. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Help me out. I think, because this started? is a little bit older, yeah, I think this is when TLC might have actually done some real stuff, because some of their shows and, now, it's like, that's so fucking fake. Like, 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 think about it, though, right? Like, like, this guy, they're talking. They're mm -hmm. talking so nonchalantly, he's washing his car. Like, it's kind of like, hey, we know what we're talking about, and, like, every time he confronts him on something, yeah. it's a continuing front, or a confront confrontation. Yeah, no, dude. Doing the bit. Right? I was I was listening yeah. to the uh, Ari Shafir podcast, and he was He's just pumping him out. Yeah, the dude that owns the car. Yeah, well, I was listening to the the, uh, the Ari Shafir podcast, and he's uh, talking to Tom Segura, the stand up yeah. comedian. Yeah. And Tom Segura was talking about how he used to work for like a post production company that worked on like reality shows, and he said they literally have a term called like Franken bites. Where they, because they have to log all of the dialogue and all the footage that they have. Like, they just have people working around the clock to log all of, like, timestamps of where things are set or whatever. Right. And they have things called Frankenbites where they purposely take things that they're like, all right, we can make this person say a separate thing by cutting the audio oh, yeah. together. Uh -huh. Like, you're saying, like, if they, you say, oh, they dude, I, I hate pizza, they can change it to say, oh, I hate Jews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, immediately. You're right. And that's, and honestly, they say that's how, uh, you know, a lot of people come to power. They didn't even try. It was just this manipulating footage put out. Like, that was Bill Clinton's story. That was George Bush's story. That was Obama. It was just all this crazy footage that nobody knew where the fuck it was coming from. Like, saying vote for them. You know who made it? Freddie Wong. He might have. He, he produces every bit of video content on the internet. Freddie Wong's behind all of it. I think we talked about him last podcast. Yeah, no, Freddie Wong's the guy. He makes all the muzzle flashes. The muzzle flash. He makes he makes gun muzzle. <laughs> <laughs> he makes the muzzle flash. He's the muzzle flash guy. Oh, dude, look at this sick gun fight. Let's well, uh, let's watch this chick huff gas. This is probably oh, no, okay, no, okay, no, okay, no, yeah. We'll watch this guy sleep with his doll. Since the show, our See, relationship this, this really hasn't worse changed, than the to be honest. I mean, we are <laughs> Look at this still guy's extremely haircut. supportive of each other. I love her completely and utterly, I and she's exactly the same way about me. I mean, she yeah, surely actually I really enjoys foot rubs. I, just, it, I don't know. Do you think he's, you think he's happy? Do <laughs> you think he's truly happy? Best and cutest assets, and I'm inclined to agree. I think people think uh, glow in the dark strange boobs. Strange my strange addiction. The realm of possibility. Oh yeah, he has to. <laughs> without without question. You're really just trying to sell something uh, disgusting. He's because, trying to fuck his doll. Because if that person can't do anything but fuck you back, or not even that, just lay there and get fucked, it's not a person. You can't have a relationship with it. Not a real one. You can say, oh, I really like fucking this doll and hanging out with it. That's it. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and, and you will say, "Oh, I get to have this deep conversation because now I'm crazy, and this thing doesn't do that with me." It's just undiagnosed schizophrenia. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, let's just enable it because now he gets to tell his fucking family. But he's happy. But he's happy. And that's why I said, you know, he's just he's just shooting up heroin. He's just, he's well, happy. Man. Let him do what he's sure. he's just shooting up heroin. He's just happy. He's happy. You know, just let him do his thing. He's that happy. Come over fucking haircut. <laughs> what is this glow in the dark it's boot? Like he's trying to be like a fucking anime character. Oh, this chick literally put glowing LEDs in her boobs. Oh wow, she did it. The doctor took the pig skin and he oh, sewed wow. together the muscles part. on the side, yeah. from the top to the bottom, so that my stomach is Why brought in like this. Because she wants her boobs to glow. The muscles right here. Why? And What's it feels like her glowing it's boobs. That's it. I need help. I'm saying she's a surgeon addiction. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, dude, her face. <laughs> yeah, without question. I can't see like that too. I can't raise very well. Oh fuck. Those things are fucking disgusting. They look like down. fucking angry watermelons. Well, they like they'll hurt you. A lot of I mean, you'll hurt them. That's yeah. Like, like you press too hard, they fuck them up. Ah. Oh. Boobs like that can't feel good. Wow. What? I said boobs <laughs> like that can't feel good. If you have a flashlight, let me show you something that will drop jaws across the world. Oh, she's gonna show us her glow in the dark boobs. Fuck yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. That's so fucking gross. That's like. That's like what I imagine. Like, like there's a, a lot of things I can't like, do if I'm not like laying in a alien alien chamber that they were like growing it in. Yeah, that's the. She has xenomorph boobs, like, man. Like the goo in the matrix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when he gets unlinks himself from the little pod. Yeah. yeah. Ugh. Yeah. That's what her tits look like with a fucking flashlight. Fuck that. <laughs>
All right. Well, on that note, guys, we're going to end this podcast here. What time is it? Uh, it is one thirty in the morning. Nice, man. Yeah. Like your first day. Yeah. So, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, man. We got, we got these podcasts rocked out, and we rocked out with you boys tonight. And uh, you can send me uh, pictures of your dick. No, nah, I don't do that. Don't, sh- don't do not do that. Now, do, do you want to tell them when we're going to do it again? Or when to look uh, it? There's not going to be like a schedule for this. I just figure we'll do them whenever we do them and put them up. Just That's throw them up. I'm not a schedule person. I can't adhere to that shit. Okay. All right, boys. Uh, again, if you want to support. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, no, we'll leave that in. Hey, dude, say something really offensive. I, I Say something fucked up. Say something so fucked up, dude. Do you think an Asian person that's a female fucking a other race male would make their vagina go three quarters sideways? Think about it. It's a biracial joke because they have sideways vaginas. Why are you looking at me like this? (laughs) (laughs) I wasn't processing it. All right, guys, if you want to support the show. Please cut this out. Yeah, no, we'll leave it. We're, no, we're leaving all that in. You're, ne- you're never going to work in this town again. Um, if you want to support the show, go to one of the links in the description and buy a t shirt. Um, go fuck yourself. All right, guys, good night. You've been listening to the On Your Computer podcast, and I'm going to sleep with your wife. I'm going to show her what a real man feels like. I'm going to show your wife what a real man feels like. Feels like. Feels like love into me, feels like love into me, feels like it's the very first time.